Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday the 15th of April. We've got some new mods and we've got some updates. The Deutz D06 series remake by Blauer, the Wood Crane by Kenny456, the Husqvarna 266XP by Gamer HZSFSH, the Stoll Super 1 by Bremi456, the Pallet Pack by GNFS, Cowbarns Pack by VX Mapping, the Bunker Silo Set by Top Ace 888, the Feed Mixing Plants M and XXL by DS Power, and the Solar Panels by Farmer 5 Tom have all had updates. We'll crack straight on then in front of us. We've got utility markings by Squiggles. 0 0.58 megabytes download, one slot each and one pound, euro or dollar each. If you're doing building work, construction work, you're simulating, whatever, for your role playing, just adds a little bit extra in. Now, it doesn't say in the description what all of these are. Um, and unless you're in construction or building, I don't know what a lot of them, I mean, some of them seem obvious to me. And then we've got ones down here for marking out your electric electric cables, water pipes, gas pipes, that kind of stuff, gas mains. Um, if you work in construction, you will know what a lot of these are. So if you want to add a few little bits of detail in on your maps, you absolutely can. Um, these you'll find under build mode, under decoration and under others. As I said, they're all um, one slot anyway. One pound, euro or dollar anyway. And we start there. And we'll come out through. Now they, they do, I've said this before with a few like this, they need to be, you'll see every now and again, that bits disappear. Depending on how level your ground is, if you've had anything in place there before. Um, so you might need to fiddle around to make sure you get them the way you want. They'll rotate freely. However you want to place them down. Uh, there's no colour options, you get them exactly like they are, and you can see them a little bit better. Aerially. These are all of your options available. So if you're marking out, you know, on a construction site, or you're marking out where the footings are going to be, or, I don't know, like I say, whatever it is you might be doing, and we scroll through, they're all here. Build mode and decoration, utility markings. And we finish just there. 35 in total. That's by Squiggles. Next. Now, the description of this, I feel terrible. I don't I, no, no. This is the White Mill by Death's Pledge. 32.68 megabytes download, nine slots, 25,000. Um, the way it's described, it's, it's this ornate gorgeous looking sort of building i was i don't often say things like this i was a bit underwhelmed um in all honesty after have i said in all honesty um once placed this will do flour from multiple sources wheat barley oat sorghum corn was that it? wheat barley oats and corn um, and then it will also do sugar as well from sugar beet, sugar beet cut and sugar cane. The weird thing was the amounts. I do what I usually do, started to fill it up and got into that rhythm of, okay, this is how much it is. Then one threw it out and then the next, it, yeah, it wasn't quite the same. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, build mode production factories is where you'll find it. There's no color option on it. Slot count comes down to one, 25,000. Like so. Now, when I turn this on, we'll see if the, the uh, windmill actually starts spinning. Putting in is down at the back just here. Your pallets will spawn on this concrete plinth around the back. And then around the front here is where we set everything off. So, yeah, as I was saying, it was 50,000, 50,000, 50,000, 50,000. Brilliant. I put 50,000 litres of corn into my trailer, got it here, and it, it took it all. That took 60. Then the sugar beet cut. Uh, sugar beet, sugar beet cut and sugar came with 36,000 litres of each. Uh, recipes seem fairly standard, as far as I can tell. So we put all of those on. That will start chugging away. Now, obviously, the recipe there, you know, it's just, you know, it will give you just flour out. You don't get corn flour or anything like that. Um, and then your sugar beet, sugar, sugar beet cut and sugar cane. And we'll give you a sugar coming out too. Fairly straightforward. There you go. Now it's operational, 
a windmill starts to turn. That is the White Mill by Death's Pledge. Next, and this is a representative of 16. Uh, it depends what thumbnail I used, but you might have seen some on the uh, thumbnail. This is the Timbered Houses Pack by Farmer 5 Tom. 29.03 megabytes download. The slot counts on these are 6s and 7s. As you can see, we do have a colour option on all of these. The first few are all um, timbered, and the second are plastered. And then you have an option for colours and that. So this one is representative, and I will show you under build mode. Again, under decoration and others. So we start here. All of them are 9,000. Slot counts all come down to one. Um, so yeah, every single one is 9,000. Every single one starts off at, well, let's like say sixes or sevens on the slot count. So that first one we've already placed. So I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. We can rotate it so you can have a look. And then we can go through all the colour options. I'm not going to go through all the colour options on every single building, but needless to say that you can change the colour, as you can see, like that as we go through. So that's that one. Next. As you can see, these don't freely rotate, but they go round in increments. Next up. Changing the colour on this one will change the top half, not the bottom. Next one. We could build yourself a whole little town with these. They're very nicely made, very nicely detailed. Adds a little something extra. It's making me think of the old Lego City stuff, actually. <laughs> the various different buildings that you can put together to make up a street, that kind of thing. And then we move on to the plastered ones. So with this one, the bottom section changes. That's a nice design, like that one. Then this one. This one. Oh, hang on. Then that. This one. I don't know which I prefer actually. The timbered ones have that more kind of chocolate box kind of appeal to them. Then I suppose a mixture of all the different ones. There we go. That's it. Timbered and plastered houses. The timbered houses by Farmer 5 Tom. Next, we've got these or this with various options. Um, now, there's an option on this one. It says in the description I couldn't find. This is the Lizard MKS 8 Plus by John Wayne 1930. 2.15 megabytes download, five slots, um, 8,000 litres. The plus on this is we've got optional beacon. We've got a trailer hitch, so as you can see, you can hook them together. And it does say in the description that you've got the option of 8,000 litres or two lots of 4,000. Yeah, fill volume, 8,000 litres, optional, two by 4,000 litres. I didn't get that come up as an option anywhere, so I've just got 8,000 litres in each one. I think I put milk in this one and herbicide in this one. I was going to put fuel in it and I ended up putting herbicide in. Um, but I mean, that's not really, that's not relevant. But uh, these you will find under animals. There we go. So 25 grand, which is pretty much standard for that size, 8,000 litre. Um, and it will do your uh, milk, water, liquid fertiliser or herbicide. I, when, because it said plus, I thought possibly it would do additional things and that kind of thing as well. But it does come down to the beacon and the um, trailer hitch. Uh, so we've got design standard. With beacon, which puts the beacon on the back little lip there. Uh, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, it's just those two. It, I, like I, say, I haven't found another option anywhere. Um, I'll check under trailers just in case. Uh, main colour, anything on this palette. Like so. And then rim colour, again, anything on that palette. There are some chromes and metallics and those kind of things. Um, 
that's that's it. I'm gonna I will double check trains. I checked miscellaneous wasn't in there. No, as far as I can see, that's it. So there you go. That's the Lizard MKS 8 Plus by John Wayne 1930. Next. We've got this. This is the Class Rollant 520 by Eid123. 13.03 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. We have a couple of options on this. We have got the Roto Feed and the Roto Cut. The difference between the two is to do with the rotor. I don't know if you can see. It's a little bit difficult to tell. Um, the rotor that's inside here. Um, the roto feed, you've got the pickup, and that feeds into the first rotor, which forces up into the chamber and starts the rotation of the bale being created. Um, the roto feed feeds in, works very well, very efficiently. The roto cut um, has more blades at a more, is it a more acute angle? It's a, it's a different rotor, basically. So what it does, it slices the grass up so it comes when it comes in, into smaller pieces, still feeds it in, forces it in into the bale to roll it but it's supposed to when the bale unrolls um, when you're ready to feed your animals it's for better portion control for your animals because it's in it's sliced into smaller trunks chunks i mean you, you can't i mean you can barely see um there, there is a rotor in there you can kind of just see it spiraling in there probably doesn't help they've got the uh, light on i mean that's that in essence is what it is so only because i was looking i couldn't see any change in it so i looked online and thought oh i'll see what that actually means and that's what it means so there you go 55 grand slot count comes down to one 90 horsepower required we have got the option of trelleborg or vredestein vredestein just has that tire choice trelleborg has a standard and a wide then we've got configuration roto feed and then we've got roto cut and it does change that rotor inside and then license plate option there as well this only does 125 centimeter bales wheels at the back so when we unfold the baler it puts them in the front raise and lower the pickup turn it on drop it down So not automatic drop on. Oh no. There we go. You still have to stop, but it will automatically unload. Let's do that. Goes across and do a straw bale. Seems to be a nice wide pickup on that as well. And there you have it. The Class Rollant 520 by Eid123. Which brings me on to the last mods for today. And it's these beauties. This is the Massey Ferguson 8100 pack by Nico Do 55. 53.13 megabytes download. We've got under small tractors, we've got the 8110 to 8130, which is 26 slots. I personally, I prefer this style. I prefer the shorter um, engine bay. I mean, these ones are it's very long, isn't it? It's just a personal preference. I just prefer that one. Um, and then under large... No, under medium tractors, we've got the 8140 to 8160, which is 27 slots. Um, something to be aware of as well. I'm, I was going to explain when I go in and we look at all the options. Um, that one, we have got front loader attacher on. But if you go for the option with a three-point link or three-point link with PTO, it takes away the option to have a front loader attacher. So you see this one has got a weight. Just something to be aware of as you're going through your options. If you have clicked on three point, you won't get an option for a front loader. So if having a front loader is a must have on your tractor, that's something just to be aware of. You won't be able to have three point and front loader. Like I say, just something to be aware of. Uh, very nicely made and detailed these. So if we go to our tractors, go to small. So there we have it. Prices are pretty good as well, I have to say. 58,460 for the base version of this. Slot count comes down to two. So we've got configuration standard, and this is the front weights. So we go from 180 kilo weight all the way up to a 900. Then we go three point, 
three point with PTO or back to standard without a frame at all. Uh, we've then got engine setup. Hang on, let's get to the engine setup. There we go. So we've got 135 horsepower, 145 horsepower, 155 horsepower. So that's our 8110 to 8130, and then back to our 135. We've then got wheel brand. We have got Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Mitus, Continental, Vredestein, back to Trelleborg. So I'm not going to read them all out. We do have some ones with like a blue connecting frame. There's, there's quite a few different options on each one. Um, you'll see as we go through. So under Trelleborg. Michelin. Michelin has the narrow, the double narrow twins, which the um, Trelleborg didn't have. BKT. Mitus. Continental. Freinstein. Back to Trelleborg. We've got front fender, yes or no? We have got the Datatronic, which puts a little screen up in the back on the rear pillar in the uh, cab. We've got CB and GPS. So we've got a CB goes up inside, little radio. You've got the Matrix 430. You've got the Trimble, which is for your steering, which hooks that up. Then you've got CB and Matrix, CB and Trimble, back to no. We've got back attacher. So this we've got a low attacher. Then we go through position one two, three, four, which lowers that down. Then we go to the KAT attach in position one, two, three, and four. And then we've got a low bar attacher and then back to where we were before. We've got lights, no. We've got additional on the front, which puts them just above the indicators. Additional back, which puts them on the back fenders. And then you've got front and back if you want them on there. We've then got beacon, no left right both and then off but we then go down one and that gives you beacon type so it goes from one through to eight so various different options for your beacons so you choose how many you want first and then you go for your beacon type uh, signs and horns so we've got sign triangle warning signs horns at the top Horns and triangle, horns and signs are all off. Then we've got front grille. We've got uh, beacon strobes. So you can have beacon strobes in the front grille, top of the cabin, or both, or none at all. I think I went for one with and one without. Front loader attacher is what I was talking about. So front loader attacher, Hauer, MX, Quick, Stoll, no. But if you've gone for a front three point link, you won't get that option come up at all. Main color, we've got red, black. Then we've got an old sort of weathered one. I've gone for one of each, so a, a bright red and a weathered one. Again, I like the I, I do like the weathered look on it. Um, and obviously there was um, white and orange on there as well. And then license purpose on there too. So that's the small tractors. Then under mediums, the 8140 to 8160. A little bit more expensive, but again, not too bad really. Uh, Sock hand comes down to two. Configuration options are exactly the same. All the various different ones on the front. Engine set up on this, 160, 160 horsepower, 180 horsepower, 200 horsepower for the 8160, so 200 the highest. And I'm pretty sure um, the wheel brands are the same and the wheel setups, I'm pretty sure, were exactly the same. It's always difficult to tell. So under Michelin, we should have the Narrows. Yeah, um, uh, the wheel options are the same. Same with the front fenders, same with the Datatronic, CB and GPS. So it just comes down to the size of the vehicle, uh, length of the engine bay, and obviously your horsepower um, is what changes. 
Uh, lights were the same, beacons were the same, beacon types, signs and horns, yeah, beacon strobes, exhaust. Oh, this one had an exhaust option, the other one didn't have. Um, so you've got exhaust, standard, or you've got a flapper on the top of that one if you want to flap exhaust. But other than that, the options were exactly the same. So we'll hop in this one. So you can, you can definitely see the difference, can't you, between that lovely, bright, shiny red and the slightly, slight, I may say slightly, the more weathered version. Now, even with the horns on top, it's a bit of a peep peep one. Anyway, so this one, I went with strobes on the front and at the top. I went with extra lighting. So I've got extra lighting on there and on the back as well. This went for everything. Went for the warning signs on this as well. It does sound good. Let's turn all that off. Front three point with PTO. I do like these twins. It's a big old cab as well. Like I said, no doors or windows that open. Interior, nicely detailed. I think I went for the Trimble. So the Trimble, um, who is it called? The Corn used to run Trimble. Um, so that hooks your GPS up to a little, um, it's kind of a cog tooth piece of equipment that attaches to your steering wheel. The GPS sends a signal to it, which ratchets the cog round, which ch turns your steering. That's the old Trimble system. Obviously they're a little bit more advanced than that these days. So that's the 8130 in the 8110 to 8130 range under small tractors. And under your medium tractors, we've got an 8160. This one I went for the front um, or for the front loader. No three-point link, but weight. And I didn't go with all the extra bells and whistles with lights and strobes or anything like that. Just standard setup. Double beacons on this one. That's a little bit of a deeper than the peep peep, and I went with the uh, the flapper on the exhaust on this one as well. Definitely a different engine though. Actually, that was something I was going to show you. I think I went for two different. Did I go for two different um, hitches on this one? I think I went for the low position four. Was that the K80 or was that? That might have been the low pin hitch. Anyway, uh, yeah, so slightly different attachments on the back as well. But very nice tractors with some very nice options. That's the Massey Ferguson 8100 pack by Nico Do 55. That's it for the mods for today, Monday the 8th, 18th, Monday the 15th of April. Sorry. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.